What's going on guys, your casual gamer here, and this is my new PlayStation 2 emulator setup guide for PCSX2. Let's get into it. All right guys, the first thing you're gonna need is 7-Zip to extract the emulator and the BIOS file. I will leave a link to 7-Zip.org in the description below. The second thing you will need is a PS2 BIOS. Now I can't leave the link to this page in the description below, but I will have it here on screen. Just go ahead and pause the video and type this into your browser. Once you have those two files downloaded, we can head on over to PCSX2.net. Link to this page is in the description below. Once you're here, we're gonna go ahead and click on latest nightly. And we have the option to download this emulator from Mac, Windows, and Linux. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download Windows 64 QT. And your download should start. The PCSX2 file is now downloaded, and I have saved it onto my desktop. If you guys would like to save this on an external hard drive or SSD, please do so because once we extract this file, it will make a lot of additional files. I am only doing this on my desktop for demonstrational purposes. So now we need to extract this file using 7-Zip. All you want to do is right click on the file, go to 7-Zip, and extract here. And as you see, after the extraction, you do get quite a few files. Now we also need to extract that PS2 BIOS file. So let's go ahead and right click on it, go to 7-Zip, and we're gonna go to extract to PS2 BIOS. This will create a separate folder containing all of the files within that BIOS. And then you should get this folder, so we no longer need the zip file, so we can right click on it and delete. Now let's go ahead and open that folder, and you should have all of your BIOS files inside of that folder. Now let's go ahead and open the emulator, and that will be this file right here. No games in supported formats were found, please add directory with games to begin. So we're gonna go ahead and add our ROMs to the emulator. So go ahead and select add game directory. Now let's go ahead and locate wherever you have your PS2 ROMs installed on your computer. Find that folder and then select select folder. It's gonna ask you would you like to scan that directory, hit yes. And all of your games should load in. Now let's load our BIOS file into the emulator. Let's go up to settings, BIOS, let's go over to browse, and you want to locate that PS2 BIOS folder. In my case, I have it on my desktop. Select the folder and then hit select folder. And as you see, we have a working BIOS. Now staying on the screen, we're going to go down to graphics. For the renderer, we're gonna leave it at automatic. For adapter, if you have a graphics card, make sure to select that graphics card, otherwise the emulator is gonna run games using your CPU. We're gonna leave full screen mode, borderless full screen. For the aspect ratio, if you wanna play your games in PS2's original four to three ratio, then leave it on auto standard. But if you're like me and you wanna play full screen, 16 to nine ratio, then change it to widescreen. Now it will stretch your games a bit, but I don't mind. And down here at the bottom, make sure V-Sync is not checked and Anti-Blur is checked. This will give you a smoother image. Now let's go over to rendering. Under internal resolution, I only have a 1080p monitor, but if you have a 1440p or a 4K monitor, you could change the resolution here. So I'm gonna select 1080p. And for a nice atropic filtering, we're gonna turn this up to 16. This will only make your games look better. Now let's go up to emulation. And what you wanna check for here is under speed control where it says normal speed, you wanna make sure that says 60 FPS. If it's anything less, then you wanna change it to 60 FPS. Now let's go down to memory cards so we can set up where our games are gonna be saved. Go over to create. And I find that 32 megabytes work best. You can go ahead and name this memory card whatever you like. I'm just gonna call it my saves then okay. Memory card my saves created, okay. Now you wanna right click on that memory card and you wanna select use for port one. And then if you look up here where it says port one, you'll see the name of that memory card, in my case, my saves. If you would like to create a second memory card for port two, just repeat what I just showed you and give it a different name. Now we're gonna set up our controller. Let's go back up to settings controllers then go down to controller port one dual shock two 
Now I know most wire controllers will work with this emulator, but I will be using an Xbox One controller. Now let's go over to automatic mapping, and we have the option to set this emulator up for keyboard, mouse, and my Xbox One controller. And just like that, all of my buttons are mapped out. Now if you're not happy with the particular mapping of a certain button, then you can change that by selecting the button you would like to change. So let's say we wanted to change our triangle button to something else. You would just select triangle, and you will hit whatever other button on your controller that you would prefer to be triangle. Back over to the right and at the bottom, we have our hotkeys. Here you can see shortcut keys that can pause your game, toggle full screen, and you can fast forward. And if you would like to set up some additional keys, you can just go ahead and select which key you would like to set up and select the key on your keyboard. And the last thing we're gonna do, let's head back up to settings, interface, and under game display, you wanna check start full screen, that way every time you start your game, the game will start in full screen. Now before we load up a game, I wanna show you guys what a PS2 ROM file looks like straight downloaded from the internet. This ROM is not playable in the state that it's in. You will have to extract the ROM to make it playable. And we're gonna use 7-zip for this. So what you wanna do is right click on the ROM, go to 7-zip and extract here. And there we are, we have our extracted ROM, so we no longer need the original file. Now if we right click on this file, go to properties, what you wanna see here is type of file should be disk image file ISO. This means that your ROM is now playable in PCSX2. Now we can go ahead and load up a game, and all you wanna do is click on the game you wanna play. And it should start up. Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really notice what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you Thanks for watching, I hope the video was helpful If it was, make sure to leave a like and if you got any additional questions, make sure to ask me over on Instagram. The link to my IG is in the description below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Everything is like a test. I better not text or I'll come off desperate. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of